many times we post a document but with some wrong details. So after the posting, we want to edit the document and change certain details. But sometimes we might face that few fields are not editable when we go to the transaction FB02 to edit any FI document. In this video, we'll try to understand what are the document changing rules and how to set up that and how to make sure that few fields are editable whereas few fields are non-editable. Hey, this is Abhiram and welcome back to my channel. Hope you have been liking my videos and if you find it useful, please do share my videos and subscribe to the channel and motivate me to post many such videos. As you know, you can also contribute to my channel by clicking the join button and becoming a super member and you'll also get a 10% flat discount in my next online training batch which is going to start very soon. If you want to do a one-time contribution, then you can also click thanks button below the video and contribute to my videos. So let's get into the video. So now we are in the transaction code FP02 and this is one document that is posted. Now if I go to the header, I can see that not all fields are editable, whereas only the document header text is editable. Now what if I also want the reference field to be editable? Or if we go to the line item level, we can see that the assignment field is editable and the text field is editable. But now I don't want the assignment field to be editable or I also want the value date to be editable. So how can we make this happen? So this editable or non-editable nature of the particular field is managed by the document changing rules under SPRO. So if we go to the transaction code SPRO under IMG, under financial accounting and financial accounting global settings, we have a document and here we have the document rules for changing. So if you see here, the document changing rules can be applied at a document header level and also at a document line item level. So first let us see at the header level. So I'll click on this one and here if you see there is only one field which is made as editable. So if I put these two transactions side by side, we can see at a header level only the BKTXT which is nothing but the document header text is available for editing. So now I also want to make the reference field as editable. So for that let us first try to understand what is the technical name of this particular field. So for that I'll click on F1 and I'll go to the technical settings button. And here I can see what is the table and what is the field name. So it is XBLNR from the table BKPF. So all you need to do is go to here and add that field along with the table name. So now as this is a header level, there is no difference between what type of a document or what type of an account it is. What type of an account will define whether it is a GL account or whether it is a customer or a vendor. And the transaction types will define what type of a transaction, whether it is a payments or invoices. If you want to restrict this editing option to only a certain type of transactions, then you can do this. And here, if you want to restrict only to a certain company code, then that also can be done here. Either I can give the company code as 1100 here, or I can leave it blank so that it will be applicable for all the company codes that are created in this particular SAP client. So here we are defining what is the possibility of the changing, whether the field can be changed or not. So let us enable this. So this will make the field editable. And you can also further define the rules in which cases the changing should be editable. For example, if at all the period is not closed, only then this field should be editable. So that option is possible. But I'm not restricting that. So I'll click on save. And now let us go back and let us open this transaction FB02 once again and let us open the same document number and now if I go to the header see that reference field is also editable. Now one thing to remember is that not all fields in the document header are available for editing. If I for example I have added the reference key or if I go to add the alternate reference key then the system will not allow because SAP by default does not allow all the fields to be made editable. So for example, let us try that also. I'll go to the alternate reference and let us find out what is the field. It is XBLNR underscore ALT and the table is BKPF. So I'll click on new entries and let us try to add that. And here let us make it as company code 1100 and click on the field can be changed and save it. Now I'll open this document once again. And if I go to the header, see that the alternate reference key is not yet available for editing because SAP does not allow certain fields to be editable. And if you want a full list of that, you can search in the SAP support portal. There are a lot of SAP notes which will show that what all fields are available for editing via this document changing rules. So now we saw at a header level on the similar way, we can also see it at a line item level. So I'll go to the document changing rules at a line item level. And here, if I go to this document once again, 
we want the value date also to be made as editable. So for that, let us click on new entries. And what is the technical name for this one? Let us go to F1 and click on this technical information and we see valid. So BSEG underscore VALUT is what we need to give here. As this is a line item level, there will be a lot of accounts and we also need to define what type of an account it is. If not, the system will not take this into consideration. So here I'm giving the account type as GL accounts as this is a GL account. If it is a customer line item or if it is a vendor line item or an asset line item, accordingly, you need to change what is the account type. Similarly, if I want, I can also restrict on the transaction types or I can also restrict on the company codes. And if you want to restrict on a transaction type, this is nothing but a special GL transaction type. If at all you are posting on to any special GL line item, then you can give the special GL indicator here so that the restriction can be happened at a particular special GL transaction type. If I give it as A, then all the down payments will be restricted. And if I give it as W, then all your bill of exchanges related special GL transactions will allow the modification of the value field. So I'm removing this one. And company code, as we saw, we can restrict it a company code or we can keep it op open for all the company codes in the client. And here, if I click on field can be changed. If you see the moment I hit enter because I have selected the account type as S, I can also see another stipulation here. One, we already saw that this should be editable only if the posting period is not open. The other option that we have here is if at all the line item has not been cleared, only then this should be enabled. This is very important because Changing a value date after the clearing of open item is really risky because it will change the, all the exchange rates and all. So whenever we are trying to play around with this document changing rules, it is important to understand the consequences of the value field changes or not only value field for any other field before we actually make it as editable. So now I'm removing this one. I'm not keeping any stipulations here. So I'm saving this. Now let us open this one once again. I'll go to FB02 and open the same document. And if I double click on the first line item, now I can see that the value date is still editable. If I also go to the second line item, as that is also a GL account type, the value date is editable. Similarly, if I want, I can also make the assignment field as non-editable. If you see already, we could have assignment field. Assignment field is already added to make it as editable. So if I remove this one, or I can just remove this checkbox. And if I reopen this transaction, the assignment field will be made as non-editable. So this is how you can play around with the document changing rules if you want to control what all fields after the posting of a particular document should be made as editable when you are going to the transaction as FB02. Hope you have liked the video. Do not forget to like it and share it. Please do subscribe to the channel and motivate me to post many such videos. And also, please keep watching my channel to get notified on my next online training batch on SAP S4 HANA Finance 2021. I am soon going to release the schedules of it and also you will be getting two demo classes to attend. So please do join the classes and see you in the next video.